problem number six on your practice exam is a short synthetic scheme. Here we uh, need to predict the products. We need to show the mechanism for some of the steps. And let's go ahead and start with transmetallation step of the Grignard reaction. We'll insert the magnesium metal. We will insert magnesium into carbon chlorine band. So we have benzene, magnesium, bromide, green yard reagent. That's our intermediate. Carbon here is the nucleophile. Carbon will attack the alpha carbon of the alkyl halide from the backside. Leaving group will be expelled. To help you draw the product, it's a good idea to number the carbon atoms of the Rx, the alkyl halide being attacked. Let's go ahead and number these. And we're just numbering them for the purpose of keeping track of all of the atoms, not for the nomenclature purpose. In this example, the new bond will be between carbon of the Grignard reagent and carbon number one of the electrophile alkyl halide. Benzene ring. And then carbon number one, two, three, four, five. Number the longest continuous chain and fill in the missing pieces. I have double bond between carbons three and four and metal group at carbon number four. So here's our extended product, substituted benzene. Next, we have bromination reaction. We have n bromosuccinamide with UV light as an initiator of the free radicals in carbon tetrachloride solvent with heat. So here we're going, going to look for the most highly substituted hydrogen that can be replaced with a bromine atom since NBS is selective for the most highly um, substituted carbon atom since it proceeds through a radical. Here we have primary allylic carbons with three primary allylic hydrogens on each methyl group. We have a secondary allylic hydrogen atoms, and we also have secondary benzylic hydrogen atoms. Since benzylic position offers slightly better selectivity than allylic because the radical intermediate will be delocalized across the entire benzene ring. The primary um, allylic hydrogen atoms um, will not be replaced with the bromine. So the major product would be secondary benzylic bromine. You always look for the most highly substituted carbon atom at either allylic or benzylic position. Since they're both secondary, the major product will be a benzylic, since it is slightly more stable than a corresponding allylic radical intermediate. Benzene, carbons 1 through 5. double bond between carbons three and four. Then we have secondary benzylic bromide, benzylic because it's next to the benzene ring. Next reaction is elimination. Elimination of HBr, bromine is here, and we're going to eliminate hydrogen from the alpha carbon one of those secondary hydrogen atoms. And the incipient bond, the pi bond that will form will be between carbons one and two. So as HBr is eliminated, we'll form one, two, three, four, five. conjugated diene, 
but we'll refer to products such as this one as a, a styrene derivative. And we'll study that in the next chapter. Styrene derivative. Styrene derivative because this unit is styrene. Derivative because there's something else attached to it. So styrene derivative, similar to the conjugated uh, dyne example we saw in the previous problem.